Number one and number two. Number one has the contrast. The contrast is white versus black. Notice how the contrast will stretch all your graph to get you more black and white. So the contrast try to achieve to give you maximum white and maximum black. And in between, it destroys all the midtones if you go too far, of course. You can double click on the contrast to reset it. Let me give it a certain value, for example, just like this. And you have the pivot. You notice the contrast started from this line, the middle line it starts. Okay, I'll do it again. Notice how it starts from the midline. Okay, notice these guys are not even moving. With the pivot, you change. You decide, okay, I wanted to start from this line. You can get a 100%, but somehow, and you can get it up if you like. So you're starting from the upper lines. This is about the pivot. It's gonna take some practice, guys. I will reset the contrast by double clicking on the name. Then you have saturation. Saturation will add colors or remove colors. Notice what's going to happen to the graph here when I remove saturation. And the only color you have is a grading or a shading of black. You can increase and notice how the colors are gonna spread. Very important. So you decide on the spread of the colors and hence you add more colors. So the red is living alone, the green is living alone on the graph and the blue is living alone so they are all shining and bright. I will reset that. Now you have the hue. The hue is like cycling among the colors. Notice the graph, how, what it's gonna do. If I take the hue down, notice that it's changing towards another color. Notice like here you have the blue on top. You notice how the blue is on top and the image is blue. That's hue zero. If I cycle again, notice how now the other colors are coming on top. Here you are now, the green is coming on top with some red, but the prominent green is on top, so the image is green. If you cycle even more, of course, you are going to go back now towards the secondary colors, and then, of course, you go back to blue on top. So this is about the hue. Let's go to number two. You have temperature. Temperature will add the colors, will make it warmer or colder. If I increase temperature, notice what's happening. The red is gonna be the highest in the graph towards the highlights, and then it's gonna gain temperature. So adding temperature is about killing the blue and maximizing the red in the highlight. All this you can read from the graph. Now, if you take down the temperature on negative values, I think you guessed it, it's the blue that's gonna be very prominent and the red is gonna be less prominent. So the blue will go towards the highlight and you will see a lot of blue and the red will go towards the black and you start killing the red, it's gonna become somehow black. That's temperature. Tint is like temperature, but milder, you will say. Not what's happening here is, let's say, the, the fragile person here which is trying to change your colors, but in a milder way. It just tints them. Still play on the graph to put one up. You have here the MD, the mid-tone details. You can increase the details of the mid-tones. Here you are. Notice how it's spreading. So I'm increasing the details of the mid-tones. Or you can decrease the details of the mid-tone. As simple as this. Notice how you kill the image is somehow blurred or something like this. So these are the mid-tones you're playing with. Color boost will just boost your colors. It means it's gonna spread them in a certain way where they all have a certain place that will make everything shine. Too much is ugly, too little or negative, minus you are back to black and white. Now, you have the shadows. So we're gonna play, of course, with the shadows. Notice I'm gonna take all the shadows up and I'm gonna take all the shadows down. There is a bit of stretching, but actually you are moving the whole graph towards highlights or towards shadows. So actually you're spreading the shadows up or down. HL is the highlights. It's gonna do exactly like shadows, but a bit better. It's gonna start stretching, compressing the whole image, but not getting more blacks if you notice. I will double click. So actually, after talking so much, this is all about color wheels. And if you want to reset everything, you just click on this round arrow here. It will reset the whole primary wheels. So the concept is very easy. Lift, you work with the shadows or the blacks. Gain, you work with the highlights or the whites. Gamma, you work everything in between. Thank you very much for listening. I will see you in the next lecture with some serious color correction.